first day back from Thanksgiving. So I hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving weekend. I want to talk to you today about where we stand on the recount, lawsuits, and the upcoming elections on December 1st and January 5th. The truth matters, especially around election administration. So the recount is going on schedule to be completed by our signed uh, Wednesday date at, mid, at the midnight deadline. Once that is complete, our office continuing our work to be transparent as possible, we'll be releasing the recount results online as quickly as possible. That is the great thing about our paper ballot system. It is auditable, it is recountable, and can provide voters the confidence that the outcomes are correct. Once this recount is complete, everyone in Georgia will be able to have even more confidence in the results of our elections. Despite the massive amounts of misinformation that is being spread by dishonest actors. There are those who are exploiting the emotions of many Trump supporters with fantastic claims, half-truths, misinformation, and frankly, they are misleading the president as well, apparently. There are two suits in federal court right now. One was already shot down and is being appealed. The other is just beginning. That is the due process afforded to us, all of us as Americans. As we move forward in the process, we will, as we always have been, we will continue to investigate credible claims of illegal voting and violation of state election law. There are currently over 250 open cases from 2020, and we have 23 investigators that, to follow up on them. Some of these include a charge in Gwinnett County that absentee ballots outnumber absentee envelopes. This is the kind of specific charge that our office can investigate and ascertain the truth. We have multiple investigations underway surrounding absentee ballots in Fulton, Gwinnett, Cobb, and many others. We continue our investigations into potential dead, double voters, and non-resident voters. As we move to the December 1st election, which is tomorrow, and the January 5th federal runoffs, we have to remain vigilant. That is why I'm announcing an investigation into third party groups working to register people in other states to vote here in Georgia. We have opened an investigation into a group called America Votes, who is sending absentee ballot applications to people at addresses where they have not lived since 1994. Vote Forward, who attempted to register a dead Alabama voter, a woman, to vote here in Georgia. The New Georgia Project, who sent voter registration applications to New York City. And Operation New Voter Registration Georgia, who is telling college students in Georgia that they can change their residency to Georgia and then change it back after the election. Let me be very clear again. Voting in Georgia when you are not a resident of Georgia is a felony and encouraging college kids to commit felonies with no regard for what might mean for them is despicable. These third party groups have a responsibility to not encourage illegal voting. If they do so, they will be held responsible. Let me emphasize this again. Casting an illegal vote in Georgia is a felony. Casting more than one vote in Georgia is a felony in an, one election, obviously. This office will continue to take steps to protect the voting rights of the legally registered Georgians of this state, Republican, Democrat, Independent, and whatever other party you may be a member of and whoever you align with. Upholding the law matters, truth matters, and your vote matters. Anyone telling you to boycott an election is not on your side. Your, wrote, your right to vote is sacred. Don't let someone con you out of it. Everyone in my office is doing their job. We'll continue to follow the law, and we will continue to follow the process. Thank you very much.